Hey fam, Chi Chi here. Welcome back. We are going to be talking about the most iconic luxury perfume trio, in my personal opinion, and that comes from Parfums de Marly. We're talking about Delina, Delina Exclusif, and Delina La Rose. Which one should you put into your collection? Do you actually need all three? And some other friends who have joined my party. If you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comments section and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. To me, I've always said they are the destiny's child of the fragrance community. So we're gonna start off with the original founding member of said trio the Beyonce of the group, Delina. <laughs> this one is a beautiful, very, very feminine fragrance. And actually, it's the one that I liked before I smelled the other one we gonna talk about. But Delina, love it or hate it, she is iconic. No one can deny that, okay? The, the other two we can't even talk about unless we talk about Delina. Now, although she was the last one to enter my collection, she's still really beautiful. What I get from this is a very sharp rhubarb note. You get it right up in your nose. I get the rhubarb, I get the lychee, and I get Turkish rose. Before this fragrance, I couldn't tell you what a Turkish rose smells like. But after, now, since it's laced all through these fragrances, my nose has become so accustomed in pointing out, oh, that's a Turkish rose. Nope, it's, nope, it's not that one, it, it's a Turkish rose. So it's very Turkish rose heavy, but this wasn't a grandma, old school type of rose. And I think that's why everyone really gravitated towards it. It was just like, oh, she's something new, something fresh, something different. You know, it, it, it had a, a modernness to it and it wasn't all frumpy dumpy. Delina will always have that iconic status. Period, point blank. There will not be another, okay? There will never, ever, ever, ever be another Beyonce. <laughs> Delina is that, she's that girl. He's not, this ain't stopping me. So yeah, Delina iconic for a reason. Now, <laughs> we gonna talk about the Kelly of the group, in my opinion. Delina Exclusif. Now, <laughs> Delina Exclusif is 1000% Calandria, okay? You still get your Turkish rose, but there's a powderness like that you can't explain. This is a powerhouse. On my skin, this lasts way longer than Delina and she is absolutely gorgeous. They go toe to toe with each other in vocals. It is just like, she's gonna hold it down, okay? She gonna sing the first verse, she gonna sing the middle verse, she can sing a verse, okay? And harmonize her ass off. This is just so beautiful. It's absolutely my favorite of the trio. And I, I love it, like this, oh, the thing that may deter people is that kind of powderiness, but you still get a really beautiful dose of that Turkish rose, but this, it just, it smells like what petals feel like when you touch it. It's, the, that's the best way to, to describe this one. Like, I never felt so feminine in my entire life. She has a beautiful sillage and she's just like, Wow, like that's you smelling like that? This wifey material, okay? Wifed up, just minding her business, living her best luxury life. Now, you can imagine my shock and surprise with the fact that this has oud in it. I have a long standing history of not liking oud. I have decided oud is not for me. Do not let that scare you in this fragrance. You don't smell the oud at all. Cause if I would have smelled that pl plastic baby doll face, I would've been like, nope, mm -mm. you don't smell it. It's, oh my gosh, it's just so beautifully done. Sometimes I feel like there's a vanilla, like 
a vanilla creaminess to it. It's beautiful. It still has that lychee in it that makes it a little bit sweet. I don't want to say powdered sugar, but if you've ever just rubbed it in between your fingers, that's what this smells like. Just like get the feeling of it. Like it's soft, it's powdery, a little sweet, but still a rose. It's just like, how did, how did they do this one? And yeah, the, Kelly holds it down, okay? She, mm, absolute favorite of the trio. Kelly was my favorite member of DC3. However, if we're gonna talk about the original Destiny's Child, it was Latoya Luckett, fight me in the comments. But <laughs> Kelly, can you handle it? Absolutely. freaking lootly Pulling up the rear is Michelle, we'll sing the bridge and get it over and done. Williams, AKA Delina La Rose. A lot of people count her out, mainly because y'all was focused on the fact that the other members was out the group. I was one of those people. But you gotta put some respect on Delina La Rose. You thought you it couldn't get any better, and it does. I feel like when people see it, they're, they're looking at the bottle and you're like, mm, it's probably just the watered down version of it. No ma'am, mm-mm. No, she has staying power, lasting power, projection, all of the above. But this is a aquatic version of Delina. It is so beautifully done. This one is a bit muskier than the other two. I will say that if you're not a fan of musk, you probably will not like this perfect for hot hot weather when you still want to smell like Delina or Delina exclusive but it's too heavy it's too like uh, get off my skin this is when she shines the bridge okay it's just like you don't you don't really like think about her too much it's like oh you you can sing you can blow that's Delina La Rose a lot of people counted her out but I just love how that aquatic note, it just does something so beautifully mixed in with that musk, but still keeping that Turkish rose lychee DNA. Absolutely stunning. Like, please don't count this one out. It is beautiful in the summertime. What I personally wear are the seasons. This one strictly summertime. Well, I'm not even gonna say strictly for any of them. If I feel like wearing a fragrance, damn it, I'm gonna wear the fragrance. But I tend to reach for them. Delina La Rose is the one I reach for in the summertime. Exclusive for me, I like it more of a cool weather. So I'll reach for her fall and springtime. No, no, I'll fall and winter. This is my go-to. And then springtime when I want to feel pretty, 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 I'll break out Delina. So I like all three of them. Now, do you need all three? You know, you just gotta pick your favorite member. Me, I just wanted all three. <laughs> I wanted all three because they they smell different enough where it's like, okay, I get it. I get the vibe. And then layering them together. Can we talk about layering? Cause no one really talks about layering these. The mix matching that I be doing, I'll, girl, I'll layer La Rose and the OG. I'll layer <laughs> exclusive OG. I'll do, I, I just mix them. I, hell, I've mixed all three. Clearly I've done mix all three. And I can still pinpoint each one. It's wild. It doesn't just smell like one freaking thing. It's just like, oh, I can identify every last one of you guys. And that is the beauty of it. I like Delina so much. Child, I done invested in the body cream and the hairspray. Who, who am I? Like, these two, also, really, really great investments. I do feel like they smell exactly like the fragrances. Again, it's, it's gotta be your choice on whether or not you just buy one, none, or all three. When I think about this trio, the clip of Destiny's Child that I always remember is when they first became DC3 and they're singing like at the podium. So, you know, 
Beyonce starts off like, oh, man. Oh. just very pretty. Like that's the, the personalities. Then you have Michelle. Oh, man. Oh. Very light, wispy, all of that. And then we have Kelly. Oh, yes, yes. That is literally my ranking for them too. If you wanna know which ones I like in that order, it is Beyonce at the bottom. Sorry girl, love you, respect you. Delina La Rose, second favorite. She carries me through, but baby, Delina Exclusive will do it every single time for me. And that one is a lifer for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out some of my other videos and I'll catch you in the next one.